Um, why did you leave Islam? Sorry, one second, and then you can speak to him. Why did you leave Islam? What made you leave Islam? Uh, Islam is uh, my uh, kind of uh, actually uh, I, main problem is English. <laughs> but you don't. He does a, He left Islam. He was an, anyway, she was going to interview him. But why did you leave? Why don't you believe in Islam anymore? Islam is my religion, and I believe Allah, and Allah is my God, and He made us, and whole whole world is made He, and that's why I live Islam. Uh, okay, because when I asked you before to, if you believe in God, you said no. No. Actually, I don't understand. Oh, you don't understand. Yes. Okay, uh, maybe she can share the gospel yeah. with you. Yes, you were, you you did say that. You you are Muslim because uh, in your country that is what uh, you are told that he's the maker of the world. You did say that he's the maker. So how did you know he's the maker of the world? Did he reveal it to you personally, or just because your family told you that, or your country I, I says believe, that? I, I believe that, and I personally believe that. So how did you come to believe that? What? Yeah, how did you come to believe that? You know, uh, everything is a uh, um, maker, maker, and I believe that the um, uh, whole world is maker in Allah. Okay. So you just, uh, just like that, just believe the whole world is just made by Allah because your people practice uh, religion. So you just feel, oh yeah, if we are Muslim, so all, all the whole place is made by Allah. That's what uh, he made us and uh, when I met him, and, uh, we meet him. So we meet him. And uh, I believe that uh, when I did, and, uh, I have, uh, I will have uh, life, another, another life. Uh, you will have another life. Yeah, when I did. When you die. Uh, it's a uh, jannat. Jannat, jannat. If I uh, work in world, I go to work. Uh, I got a good life. His na name is jannat. And if I bad work. And I got, uh, I got a bad life. Uh, it's Jannam. Oh right. So if you do good, yeah. you get good reward. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. All right. So what have uh, the Muhammad done for you to to make you believe in him? What have you done for you personally to make you believe that he's the one who made heaven and earth? What make you believe that? Uh, I believe in the Quran. I believe in the Quran. Quran uh, so you are believing in book, not that you know what he has done or you have experienced it or just like that. You just believe in the book we are given to. That's all. I believe. How do you? That's what I'm saying. Is it from experience or is it from what has he done? If it's from experience, tell me. Or experience, yeah, but I, I don't uh, explain it. Okay. So did he die for you like the way Jesus died for? The whole world? Did he die for you? I don't understand. Yeah. So because uh, you know that is the controversy people are, are talking about. You know, a lot of people believe in things they don't understand. We just believe in anything, and before you know it, if um, if they come to an environment when they say, okay, do this, they will fall into it. If they say, do this, they fall into it because they don't have that truth. You see. So because everybody is lacking truth. And it becomes a problem for our society and for ourselves, you see. So that's why Christianity, we are trying as much to make sure that everyone comes to the understanding of who they really are. It's not time to follow, my father is going there, or my brother is going there, or my parents did that, that is why I'm in that religion. No, you personally need to tell Mohammed or whatever, do what you can do to show me that you are the God. He needs to show it to you. So that's why it's, you know, we're trying to say that it's no longer the time to be fighting for what we don't know. We need to fight for what we know. Because at the end of the day, if we do that, we are creating nuisance and then we're just obstructing other people, other lives. You understand what I mean? So if we end up not believing in anything or just believing in whatever thing we don't know, it's a problem. It's a problem. We, we, we can fight anybody, anytime. So any religion that makes you to be fighting people, it's not good. It's not correct because I don't see anything correct because I've been asking, trying to find out what has he done to actually show us that he loves you to be a Muslim. What is that thing he has done for the whole world to make us say, yes, he is the God that created the whole world. But Jesus has shown us what he has done. I learned uh, Mohammed married 12 wives or something. 
Yeah. So marrying 12 wives, has it done anything? What, what good has it done to the 12 wives to make us feel like he has come to do good for us? Even marrying one wife, you can see today what it has caused the whole world. So how can it be that marrying 12 wives is somebody who has loved us, yeah, that will come to the world and marry 12 wives and is telling us he loves us? So can you really explain to me what kind of love is that that he has come to give to us? Yeah. Okay. So he, he said he hasn't got the time because there's no answer to give to me why uh, Muhammad is the creator of the whole world as he believed because he couldn't show me the love he has shown for, for, for us to say that he loved the whole world, to have created the whole world. Then I said to him, yes, that's why we are Christians. We are trying to tell everyone to understand what we are practicing understand what you as a person is practicing or what your family is practicing or what they have asked you to practice because if you don't understand you end up creating nuisance to everybody you end up just jumping at things and fighting anybody because you don't know what you are doing that is what it boils down to so for us to create that understanding and a good community we ought to understand what we are doing and that's what jesus has come to give us understanding of what he has come to do and who we are and who we truly are who our brothers and sisters are so that we can create peace and a good society so that is the end of the program today <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> yeah thank you